This is a body of work I made on residency in Singapore. All the work is on paper and the paper is used in various ways. Uh, and some of the paper is even handmade for the specific occasions. Basically we have four groups of works here. Sculptural objects like these standing housing units. We have uh, a group of black and white images, a group of coloured images, uh, and a group of soft folded paperworks. One of the connections between them is the idea of the fold. In these, the, uh, the fold is a kind of rectilinear fold which uh, structures the paper and gives it uh, strength. They're made of separate polygons which are uh, linked together um, through a matching face. They're called housing because in a funny way they kind of resemble housing blocks uh, in Singapore where I, where I made them. But also housing in that it kind of relates to uh, something that encloses something seems to work very well with the idea of the work. These patterns are created by kind of marbling the paper and the marbling is a process that floats ink on top of a bath of water and then at some point when you uh, are satisfied with what it looks like you put the paper in uh, and it kind of absorbs the pattern at the way. So in a f it's a both a, pr it's a, it is a printing process but it's also a bit like taking a photograph without a camera. The multifarious swirly surface has uh, kind of cosmic depth or has sort of you know has kind of cloud-like characteristics in it and that obviously it's almost like textile quality relates in some ways to the folded paperworks. These are called Konrad Witz who's a, a 15th century German painter and in the surfaces of his paintings there are very often uh, figures of the Virgin or the uh, angels who are covered in the most ornate drapery uh, which has, bears no relationship to either the body beneath or actually the possibilities of, uh, uh, of drapery. And it was that, uh, that kind of disembodied folding that, uh, that interested me in the kind of Baroque nature of it. Technically how these are made is this is a kind of enormous sheet of paper and then uh, folded it up by, by slowly pushing it together. In this group of four you'll see different ways in which that's folded. The, the work over there is actually an, a very, very big sheet of paper. Uh, it's like eight feet by eight feet uh, that's been folded up. The folding not a, does two things. It not only kind of produces the, this kind of uh, complex surface, but it also reduces and compresses, producing something which uh, um, was disembodied but seemed to uh, suggest that there might be something, there might be a kind of depth underneath it. One of the ways that I've been drawing recently has been to draw something like a moray pattern or an interference pattern where I've used sets of parallel lines and then a slightly offset parallel line uh, which creates a sort of uh, uh, a slightly ambiguous surface. Interference is interesting because it kind of stops you seeing something, it makes it hard to focus. If we kind of carry on with the, with the idea about folding, then uh, uh, an interference pattern, if you think of an interference pattern on a television, it's a bit like a kind of fold in the image because it interrupts it. The title is Sleeping Beauty uh, and uh, uh, the reference in the title is to the hedge. Uh, around the castle, which has to be cut through in order to, so it's a, uh, uh, this is an obstruction, uh, basically, um, uh, that is stopping you getting to what you want behind it. I made one, one big drawing which was composed of many parts, uh, and the, the shapes that you see here that are isolated in these uh, uh, six images are all component parts of that drawing. They're, like, they're not quite like bits of a jigsaw puzzle because there are points uh, where things overlap. But if you look at this shape here, uh, then you can see this shape here is the, uh, uh, the negative of that positive or the positive of that negative. Uh, when I got all of these shapes together and was still working on the drawing, 
was that I'd realized I'd drawn a little dog. It had a kind of head and a tail and a nodding head and two ears. Um, and so, and then I stopped. Um, but that, there's, there's where the title comes from, from the show, kind of Beware of the Dog. If you know Lichtenstein's image of Beware of the Dog with that kind of grrrr and that kind of zed, 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 uh, it's also quite like an interference or a, a warning uh, as producing a kind of uh, uh, a vibration. Um, and that's an idea connection between the, between the things.